Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of whatever game we're playing. Psych, we're playing The Legend of Bumbo. Here we go. New game, so we uh, we unlock the fourth floor. Uh, we have to beat the game twice with all the characters in order to unlock, to unlock sorry, Bumbo the Empty. Uh, but there's also Bumbo the Dead that we need to unlock as well. And we have to actually beat the game in order to do that. Bumbo the Brave, yeah, okay. So let's start this. Bumble the Brave all the way down to the basement. Can we do it? The answer is yes. It's not even going to be difficult. I lie. We're probably going to lose this turn because I was cocky. I was like, yeah, we'll, we'll do this. No problem. Here we go. And then it's just going to like pick me up and drop me to the ground and be like, oh, that wasn't difficult. You're right. Okay. Good luck. But hey, that's, that's how we play. Speaking of that's how we play, I gotta say, we, uh, I, I, I did meet up with my friend and we got our, uh, sorry, I had to reorient myself. Well, we got our, uh, our magic on and it, uh, it worked fantastic. My, uh, my commander deck, it worked the way that I wanted it to, uh, which I know sounds amazing. Like you're like, wait a minute something you built to work the right way i know i know but trust me it uh it popped off for one of the games the other game was was kind of terrible but for that first game it was glorious just just beautiful what, uh, what, what do you think we do you think we just i mean because i don't have any more moves reroll the puzzle board yeah let's do that what does that give me? I mean, I'm gonna take a damage, which is what it is. That's okay. I'll, oh, and then he gets in the way. Why would he get in the way like that? I don't know. Like, I want to re-roll the board and try to get this. It worked. Because now what we're gonna do, we're gonna be able to take this out. Oh, I, I hate that they they get like these freebies after the fact. Oh, that's so much damage coming at me. It's just, it's so much damage coming at me. Here's what we'll do. We'll mitigate some of that damage. So that's not quite as much damage. See, look at that. And then we'll mitigate that last little bit of damage just for the churn. We'll throw that there. So we'll take no damage this turn and we can uh, slightly panic here on this churn instead. Uh, how are we gonna do this? Let's let's always just worry about this lane first. Okay, I have one move, and I must screen. No, I uh, I don't think I can do anything this turn. That's how it is every time. Like that's gonna be that's gonna be two damage. No, let's let's dig deep. We can we can do this. Get me anything? No. But this will this will do something for me. Even if it just gave me another turn to think. Alright, let's reroll again. Does that help me out any? I don't I don't think that helped me out at all. It might have uh might have even done less for me than the other one. Well, let's just let's set this up for next turn. We'll We'll take a damage, we'll take another damage. That does up all of our damage, which is nice, uh, but I wish that it wasn't necessary. Um, because I don't want to be taking damage. Damage is bad. Uh, mostly because I, uh, I am not skilled enough. How do we want to do this? Oh, like that, okay. Like, man, how are we gonna get enough move to make this happen? I'm so, right now, I'm super used to Bumbo the Weird, where I'm just like, yeah, I get 14 moves a turn, why do you ask? Meanwhile, they took off half my health in that first one. Heals one heart, lose one move, or add three wild tiles. I'm going to add those wild tiles. Okay. Do I see a bone move that I like right off the back? I don't, but this is not bad at all. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna just go for that because it's safer. 
And because we know that now that we're doing two damage, we can take it out in one hit. Oh, sorry, two hits. He goes out of one hit. And then... It's not the best turn. I mean, you know what? We'll keep it. Here's why. I'm going to do that. And then I'm going to get another move here. And this might give me something. And it does. So we're doing, we're doing much better this time around. And by this time around, I mean just, just this level. Went much quicker than the first one. Okay. What do we have here? I think we just have some, like, one damage. But I don't want that. So I think instead what we're going to do is we're going to do this. They're all going to ready up. Those are my animals. They're, they're playing around in here. So we may get uh, a little bit of barking. I think this will destroy. Yes, it will. And then we'll take this out. And we'll take that out. Okay. That worked out better than I uh, than I was expecting. And I'm going to use this. I don't, it's going to be a little counterintuitive. We're going to use this to take that out. And then we're going to get our last attacker off of here. And I'm, I'm, I'm feeling good about that, because now we can do this and do this. That will be enough to stop his advances, and then we can deal with that the next turn. We might just deal with that with, uh, with one of these. We've got a lot of yellow on this field right now. And I'm not sure what we're going to do with it. I mean, we're going to use it, but like... We can't channel it into anything. I mean, we get three wilds, which is in an in and of itself super wild. So we'll just use that, take them out, and then we should be onto the boss level. Let's see. Gain a soul heart. Listen, soul hearts are good. <laughs> so I, uh, yeah. So my, um. My deck worked out fairly well. The mana, the mana wasn't perfect. The second game, I only had three mana the entire time, which thankfully I can do a lot with just three mana. Uh, but it's also like it's nerve-wracking to have to do a lot with three mana. I would rather not do stuff with three mana. That uh, that that kernel there is going to be very unfortunate because this extra damage I did not want to take. Uh, and I'll be honest with you, I don't remember what like any of this stuff was. So here's what we're going to do. Just to move the board around a lot, we're going to do that. I think he's going to do a good chunk of damage to me here. I think it's going to be like that, and that, and then... Oh no! Okay. For some reason I thought he would just like utterly, utterly destroy me. But, uh, but he did it. Okay, can I do something constructive here? That's always that's always the question, isn't it? I think that this turn. Ooh, wait, one second, we can dig a little further. There we go. That's what we can do constructive. So we got that, and then we can use Bumbo Smash to take him out. Okay, that worked out well. But yeah, the uh, the commander game was fun. Oh, one up. Kills reroll mana. I don't think I like that. It's too wild. But a one up for when I lose? Yes, I will take that. Thank you for asking. All right, let's go uh, get something good. But the uh, the commander deck worked beautifully. It worked uh, it worked the way I wanted it to for the most part. When I was building it, I got like my mind kind of got flooded so I didn't um, I didn't actually get like the theme I was going for I wanted to do like so my my commander was Zergo Helm Smasher and I kind of wanted to like literally just like like Zerg people you know and uh, I didn't at first, I started that, and then my theme just changed completely. I want to do just a bunch of goblin tokens that would just overwhelm and overrun anyone within a 100 meter radius of my deck. Uh, and that, unfortunately, didn't happen. 
Um, for I mean, for reasons of my own, I uh, I I'm easily distracted as a uh, as a deck builder, as uh, some of you probably know. It's uh, nobody's fault but my own, but it's still still a tad bit annoying if I do say so myself. This uh, this room will be very easy from here on out. It's just a matter of kind of waiting for all the stuff to, to come ready as it will. Um, but this just made it a whole lot easier. So we don't even have to worry about that. We're going to throw this here. Bada bing, not bada boom. Oh, I get another move? Oh, yeah, I do get another move. I forget that I get a ton of move now. Okay. And then we're just going to do a bum to smash. Uh, but that went well. And then uh, me and my friend, we have... Uh, we don't do anything casually. Well, that's wrong. We do a lot of stuff casually. Uh, but the stuff that we do casually... Um, we still compete for it. So, like, when we go bowling. We have this little golden pin that we bowl with. And when we go... Um, when we play Magic, we play for... Uh, a Rocco Modern, like Rocco from Rocco's Modern Life. Uh, there's a little figurine that we own um, that whoever wins the most of games of Magic gets that silly little Rocco figure. I know, I see it too. Okay. We'll take this. Um, just really to, to, to kill it. Uh, I have yet to lose the Rocco one since we started it, which I personally am thrilled about. Uh, he, you know, understandably less than thrilled about it. One second. Yeah, okay. I know what we're doing now. Just, he just gives some HP to somebody because that's, that's bollocks. Do that, and we'll do that. Uh, but yeah, so I still have Rocco, uh, which is very nice. I won, we played seven games, and I won four of them. We were playing, sorry, we were playing best of seven. I won four, he won two, so uh, it, it, it was a fair system if I do say so myself. Uh, and I, I got three decks that I played with uh, overall, so it wasn't it wasn't too terrible. It was uh, it was mostly fun. Um, and then after that, we played Keyforge. I don't know if any of you have played Keyforge, but it's nice because like you buy a deck, and then you don't ever have to like buy another deck. You can't mix cards from one deck and put them in another deck or anything like that. So well, what you get is what you got. Uh, sometimes that'll hurt because you'll just get a deck that just totally blows. Um, but my deck, this new deck that I got, because I only get one deck uh, per expansion that they put out. Unlike Colin, Colin gets tons of them. Um, because I'm like, that's all I need. Like, I don't, I don't want any more than just that one deck because once once you start like throwing in a bunch I, I it's one of those games that i could easily get like super super addicted to because it's just it's a lot of fun to play um and thankfully i don't have to worry about that with with keyforge uh, but it's a lot like magic and the cool thing about it besides the whole you know you know you don't have to buy booster packs kind of thing about it um is the fact that uh, Richard Garfield made it. So, like, the creator of Magic created Keyforge. Now, there are some uh, silly rules uh, that I don't know why they did it, and I don't think that it was necessarily uh, Richard Garfield who kind of implemented these, but maybe maybe he did. Maybe he's a bit more... Uh, do I want to say vindictive? I'm gonna say vindictive. Maybe, uh, yeah, maybe he just kind of hates some things about uh, Wizards of the Coast in general that I wasn't fully aware of. Uh, but like, for instance, you can't use D20s as counters. You have to use uh, the counters that you get like from the game. Which, if that's not the biggest load of bollocks I've ever heard, I'm not sure what is or what could be. Yeah, we need to get something up so that that doesn't hurt us. I agree with you completely. Uh, but instead, I'm just going to 
waste time doing you know, everything else instead of that. Okay. So next turn I'll be able to. So I'm going to take one damage here. I've, I've never been playing very well this uh, this game. I apologize. <laughs> We're just gonna we'll have like one great game and one just just trash game. I think is kind of how this uh, this is gonna end up going. We got two moves left. What can I do with two moves? I can do I can do this. So let's get to lower our damage by one, which is nice. And then you know what? Let's bumbo smash that. Okay. So he moves over. Take my take my damage there. I think if he if I get hit once more, my damage will go up even higher than it already is, which is nice and much needed. But for right now, I kinda want we're just gonna re-roll, because what I'm looking for. Yeah. Just good strong good strong balance. Oh, I got all kinds of stuff here. Let's let's break this then. Surprised it doesn't break. Surprised it just doesn't break it. Like you would, you you almost would think that it would. And you go one move left. Okay. Well, we'll move that here. Didn't didn't mean to do that. Okay. Well, we'll just make it so this guy can never ever move again. There we go. That finally that finally moved. Um. We'll do that, and we'll get the star, and we'll take him down, and and another move. What are we gonna get here? One extra move every single like round. Oh, dusk! Dusk killed me last time, y'all. I don't know if we'll get past dusk. Okay. Okay, we can do this. I do have the extra one up, so let's not uh, let's not lose too much hope just yet. But at the same time, let's have a healthy fear for what is about to come and kill us. Uh, so we do that. Excellent. Okay. So throw that. So that's two. Another two. Okay, that pushed him back, and now I can't use Bumbo Smash because this game hates. Me. Why? Okay. We don't need Bumbo Smash to take him out. I am a Bumbo Awesome. Okay. Wait. Yeah, no, he's gonna he's gonna get one hit on me. And that does raise my damage up to three. But then I'm gonna do like seven damage against this kid, which is nice. And he didn't take out Bumble Smash this time. Oh boy, that's that was close. I don't like those kind of fights. I mean, I do, but at the same time, I don't. May gain more coins or raise his crit chance. I think I need that extra like 0.1 damage that it's gonna give me. I think it might just be enough to help me out. Uh, let's see what the, what the stat wheel gives me. Coins. That's not bad. We can do we can do some fun stuff with coins. What if I get more coins? I don't know. Oh, I got more coins. That means I'm going to get two stats. Which two stats? I don't know. If they're both luck, hmm, I will have some choice words. Let me say that. Mm, okay, so that's one luck. Don't like it. Do not give me another luck, please. See vous play. That would be less than ideal. An extra movement. So I'm a very speedy, speedy Bumbo the Brave. And <laughs> I'm going to do this just as a little bit of protection. It does lower my damage. But I'm going to be doing slightly. I got four moves every turn now. So that's going to help me set up stuff. Which is nice. Obviously, it's nice. Like, why wouldn't that be nice? Come on. Come on. That's 
a bunch of guys that can move fast. What if we, what if we move this here? What happens? I'm gonna, I'm gonna move that right there. Okay. So that'll be enough to do that. And then... Yeah, okay. I think, because now I can do, I can only do one of those? I thought I reduced the cost of this. Why, why am I thinking I reduced the cost of this? I don't know. Let's, you know what? Let's just take out, ooh, that, you know what? It's almost a waste. This, this, this whole Bumbo Smash feels a little bit like a waste. I'm gonna put that in there. And there. All right, help that go. Do one of those, and then that's what I was waiting for. Gonna stop him up, do that. I got another Bumbo Smash for some reason. I don't really care why. Let's throw this down. Does that give me anything? Nope, not this turn. So he's all the way up here now. Now that now that one can attack next turn as needed. Oh, okay. Just, let's make it as difficult as possible for them to break through anything. We're doing, we're doing okay. We're, as they say, we're doing all right. We're getting good grades. Features so bright that I gotta wear shades. You know I love me my big slurp. It's all enemies in the front row, but it's only gonna be for like one damage, isn't it? I mean, that could be useful to hit everyone, but I feel like two moves I can do more with. I don't know. You know, we've done Big Slurp a couple times. Let's do Nail Board. We'll get rid of Blinding Pack for it. I think I think that was an okay movement. We'll do that. We'll gain the Soul Heart because uh, we're gonna need it. There's a lot of enemies here. Um, and they're like all resistant to my Bumbo Smash, so we just gotta think creative. Uh, I say think creatively. What do I do? Spend two moves to get uh, uh, two damage because that's creative. I mean, that doesn't do anything really, except give me another move, which. In and of itself isn't isn't bad. Like I don't mean to say, oh, it's just a move. And that gives me the bumble smash, the only one bumble smash that I need the or can get this turn uh, that'll do anything for me. Um, I got two moves left. I'm gonna stop them from doing quite as much damage with that. Okay, all right, I can, I can deal with that. Yeah, yeah, that's what I thought. That's okay. We got the soul heart. We got the extra life. We we have ways to overcome this nonsense. Let's let's start with this and he's the angriest. I know it doesn't matter because again, they'll be able to They'll be able to just throw it down whenever. I'm gonna throw that there. Throw a bunch of wilds. I get an extra move. That. That. Wait, wait, wait. I think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna do it this way. Again, I don't know if that was optimal, oh, but it felt right. Now I gotta start worrying about those guys, which is fantastic. So I do, I, I gotta do like four, yeah, I gotta do six damage in order to clear this for uh, and make it safe, which is not ideal. I guess it's not not ideal, but uh, it's not what I was hoping to do this turn. That's for sure. Let's let's not even worry about this one. Like you, let's put let's put that one out of my mind. I'm gonna do that. 
That does help. It gets me one of those. Let's, let's start whittling down this row. This row is the most dangerous row we have right now. And then... We're setting up for next turn. So that'll break my wall. But then these should clear out this row. Okay. All right. That worked. That worked. Okay. What do we want to do from here? That I don't know. You know what? I do know. I'm going to get this. Both to stop it up and to activate this, my trap card. We'll come here and we'll set that up for next turn. And that should end this round. And then I can't remember how many uh, floors we've gone down. Um, ooh, critical hit. Was that luck? Was that my little critical hit chance? I don't know. All right. Yeah, I think we'll just go for the boring move. Now, can we set up anything else that's really nice? That's a good question. So, I'd like to, I'd like to have that. But I don't think I can. I don't think there's I don't think there's anything really just like, oh my gosh, I'm so happy that this has happened in the way that it's happening, you know? But that actually, I think, uh, went better than I thought. This guy is electric uh electric. Is only a uh, week against those puzzles, so or those magics. So there's that. That gets us back up to our starting amount of moves. Now we can start thinking with portals. Here we go. So we'll be able to take this one out. You know what? Let's not even worry about what everyone else kind of has going on. Again, I don't know if when they explode, if that hurts us or not. And I don't know if I can hit them from there. Uh, should we just find out now? I mean, we'll get a soul heart in two turns. You know what? Let's find out. Is Okay. When they explode, it does hurt us. I think it also heals them. Um... Like, heals, yeah, see how he has four health now? So that heals them as well. So I think I think the smart ticket here is just a set up for, uh, for next turn. We got uh, a nice wall that we don't have to, you know, really do too much about. Oh, okay. I didn't even see that move, so. Like that, another eight damage. And we should be moving on to a, uh, to a boss room. Destroy a spell, gain plus ten coins. Or move a tile, a, a tile row, one right. You know I love those. I'm gonna do that. Gazardo shouldn't be as annoying because I have good stuff on both ends. So the thing that we need to uh, keep in mind is that we need to play a little defensive here at the beginning. I'm just gonna use that that move right off the back. I don't want to take any chances here. So, I like this. It's uh, just uh, your your standard one-two punch. So we'll do four. Ooh, got that crit. Y'all see that? I know you did. And then we'll just bumbo smash it. Boom. Look at that. Already took it off six damage. He, uh, they spawned some flies. Let's, let's do that. I mean, does that... No. Okay, I was like, does that actually do anything? Oh, I didn't realize that, uh... I was out of moves. I wish I had. I would have played that slightly differently. No, we gotta, we gotta get that poop. Let's get that poop. You always want to get what you need as opposed to what you want. We just kind of play defensive with this uh, with this one. I mean, there's nothing wrong with that. Sometimes I wish it weren't so. I'm, I'm not always the most uh, defensively minded player. Now, if we swap them like this, I don't think he'll hurt us. So let's try that. I'm willing to take a gamble on that. Cool. 
and it worked just that way. So that's another six damage. Can we flip him back over with? We can. I think. Yeah, I think we have enough damage here to take him out. And it looks like we have left this floor the same way that we entered it. We have two HP. And I think that we'll actually be able to start the next floor with uh, a third one because of gain 18 mana. Lotus Battle? Yeah, like, why not? Why not? It's a lot of mana. I don't know. I, I don't know if it just randomly split up. I, I guess we'll find out. See, here's the thing. My health, uh, my damage is going to stink for a while, but everything else about that, very good. Uh, spells cost less. Let's that gets it down to two, and I love that. And we're going down to the basement. I believe the basement is the very last level in the game, if I remember correctly. I may not be remembering correctly, but we're doing good. I guess that's what I'm really trying to say. We're, we're doing okay. Okay. I don't think I've ever seen that green enemy floating around all smugly in the back like that. Um, so let's just uh, proceed with caution. I know that, yeah, every time that they you hit them, um, it curses you, and you can only ever deal one damage to them. So, like, the fact that I'm trying to deal more doesn't matter. I can still deal plenty to those guys, so it's good to know. Um... Do I see any good moves? No, I don't. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna get a slightly defensive uh, line going here. Can we make this a really fun? You know what? I've got the movement, I think, to make this a lot of fun. I don't have the movement anymore to make this oops, sorry. A lot of fun. So maybe I just take some hits and make it a lot of fun anyways. Because they took away some hits of me. So it's going to be nothing there. He's going to deal one. And it's just a soul heart. Okay. So I don't think that this attack will kill the ghosts in the back. But it should kill everyone else. And just killing the ghosts in the back, that felt good. So I got two movements here. It didn't really do anything for me. I was hoping for something, but the something I was hoping for wasn't that. Let's uh, let's, just, let's just block one of these guys. I think that their attack might just be a, a curse. I'm not 100% sure about that, of course. No, okay, so they actually do attack. Well, that's okay. Let's, uh... Let's just end it right here. So we'll take them out. That simple. That simple. And you guys got uh, any other recommendations for games you would like to see me play? It's three random enemies. Lowest charge of one item. I like that one. I like that one a lot. We're gonna lower the charge of that. Okay, good. Um, we'll do that. But yeah, I'm uh. You know me. I am always uh, trying to bite off more uh, games uh, to play at one time than I probably should. So what uh, what are you guys thinking? I'm I'm personally thinking that this is going to be glorious. Uh, I don't know. I haven't really bought a whole lot of games lately. Like at least none that I think would be any good for like these let's plays. Like I got some games that I oh don't throw don't waste them all on him. Oh my god. I am so upset by that. Okay, you know what? Um. Oh, I don't quite know. But yeah, like, is, is there anything that you guys think I uh, I should get? Uh, I can't say that I have like tons of disposable income, but. You know, if it's not such a, an expensive game, I might get it. Or if it's got, uh, oh, they flip. Should have been paying attention. Um, 
or if it's like on the humble bundle or something like that like i'm always down for those um, let's do this. so yeah like if you think of anything let me know i'd love to hear what you guys think uh would be a fun game to both watch and for me to play uh there is no wrong answer though i may not pick you up on those options because you've seen this channel i will easily walk away for from the channel for two years and, and not even think twice about it so but i got this so there's this game called knights of pen and paper that look interesting but i think it's a little bit i think it's a little grindy and i i'm not i'm not the greatest talker like after a while i'm just like okay i'm out of stuff to talk about y'all talk to, amongst yourselves please and thank you yeah you guys see what i'm seeing wait a minute i think i figured it out okay Okay, I figured it out. It's like, there is a way to make this very good on my very first turn. I think I might be able to take out like, a lot of these creatures. Let's do it. We've, done, we've, done, we've got a lot of sevens this time around. Oh, uh, he, he flipped around and it screwed everything up. Gosh, why do they keep doing that to me? Okay. So we're just going to throw that there. We're going to throw a Bumbo Smash right there. One more move to get one more move to get. Oh, I was gonna say, do two damage, take this out. But I'm only doing one damage right now, so it's gonna be slightly delayed. Okay, that's fine. We'll take him out this turn. Hopefully, that's my that's my goal. Yeah. Okay. There we go. That turret back there, I don't know if you guys saw it. Very reminiscent of the Binding of Isaac. What are we gonna get? Hurts everyone, including me. Oh, that's right. Alright, we'll do this then. Let's, um, you know what? We don't need any more soul hearts because we're nearing the end of the game. And it is the final boss Bumble versus Bygone. One person in uh, particular is going to find this joke somewhat funny, because uh, when I see Bygone, I think of Bygone, Bygone, Bygone. Uh, and maybe they won't even remember it anymore. I don't know. It's been forever since uh, since we played uh, the game that that's referencing, but I like to believe that they'll remember. Okay, I like I like all of this. So let's. Let's throw that down. I don't want to worry about those. Um, we're just gonna. I think we're just gonna smash the heck. Cause like, why not? What else have we got to to go on? We are gonna use this now. Uh, I only got two of those. That is annoying. I think I would get a couple more. But he's already down to six HP, which is the Vundabar. Okay, so I got plenty of HP for this HP. Uh, mana. So we are going to waste this mana. Pulling this guy all the way over here. Okay. And we're going to throw it down the middle. And if he doesn't spawn a fly right in the middle there, nah, which he didn't, we are going to start smacking away on his second form. Got a crit, I'll be honest, I didn't know that you could crit against this guy. Uh, then let's block the next attack. I kind of thought that was going to happen, but that's okay. Aw, oh, less moves and I'm cursed. Okay. Well, let's just, an extra move, because why not? And we'll block the next attack as well, because again, why not? And let's get, uh, I think this is going to be the win, because I'm going to do one. He's going to curse me. Oh, and I did crit. Boom. Oh, we just beat the legend of Bumbo with Bumbo the Stout. 
Would you look at that? And with an extra hard bash, Bumbo crushed that dead boy to mush. Finally, Bumbo happy. Now Bumbo can be alone, alone with coin. But Bumbo hears something, something mean, something huge, something. Isaac, who were you talking to? Where did you get that stuff? I thought I threw it out. He left us, Isaac. He's gone. He never loved us. Don't you get it? No, no, Mama, please. Isaac, listen to me. It's just us now. It's just us now, Isaac. You and Mama. Dun, dun, dun. unlocked so you know who we're playing as next time and bumble smash has been unlocked i can now get that as a uh, as an item on uh, some of the item rooms and brimstone unlocked that's because i uh, i got that coin cover yours they changed the music did you guys hear that i think i forgot about that but yeah so that's our our, our first official win of uh the legend of bumbo uh interesting connection to the binding of isaac if i do say so myself but next time we're going to be playing as uh bumbo the dead and uh just like bumbo the dead we ourselves will probably die because i remember having a little bit of trouble with him but hey until next time you guys take care of yourselves and uh i'll see you later Bye bye <laughs>